clearing is hard, and I think there's a lot of things that we do passing-wise in clearing that we don't practice. The four corners passing was, when I was at St. Mary's High School, was a drill defensemen had to do as soon as they came on the field. So while we, if you got there early, um, we always gave the players things they had to do when they came on the field before we stretched. So at practice, practice at 3 o'clock, they're there at 2.50. We don't give them un disciplined or unorganized things to do because it becomes chaos. So we gave them all things they had to do. So the four corners passing was what we did a lot with our with our close defensemen and long stick middies. You had line defensemen, goal line extended, a line defenseman, goal line extended and, and restrain line. Line defenseman, long stick middies at the midline and sideline. Then a line of defense with the midline and sideline. So what we'd say is these guys threw the ball cross field. Then these guys threw the ball diagonal. Then these guys threw the ball cross field. Then these guys threw the ball diagonal. And what I got, and, and though they're throwing a cross field for the midline or the goal line, then it doesn't matter. It's the same. It's the same function and the same fundamentals you're trying to get to do. And then after a few minutes, we'd say reverse the ball. So now he's throwing cross field. Right, so reverse the ball. So this guy started with it. He's throwing diagonal. He's throwing cross field. He's throwing diagonal. He's throwing cross field. If you clear the ball in a diamond, this is this cross field pass, this diagonal pass. It's going to happen a lot, and it could if you if you do the if you clear it in an open, you, that could happen also. So these are everyone's doing every, every everyone here's doing cross fields. Everyone here's throwing diagonal. We would have two balls going at one time. So I'd give a ball to this guy. I give a ball to this guy. I say go. He throws a cross field. He throws a cross field. Then they throw it diagonal. So they just rotate. Right? They're, if there's more than one guy in line, they rotate who it is. You want these guys at the restraint line or farther out. You don't want them closer in. The closer they are to the, to the, to the middle of the field, the easier it is for the, the right attackman to get to them. You want them spaced out. Let the ball come to them. I believe in these situations, they're catching and they're doing a little crow hop and they're planting their feet and throwing the ball. These should not be passes they're making while running. These are passes they should make with their feet planted. I also believe a defenseman should almost always use their strong hand. Don't bother going to the weak hand here. This is a great easy clearing drill, great pre-day before a game because they're not running anywhere, but they're getting some stick work in. It's easy and simple. I think it really helps. It helped us tremendously in the fundamentals for our clearing and get our defensemen to work on things we don't work on all the time.